Hey guys, I'm back with another video. Um, I've actually had someone request me to do this video, or request to me to do this video, so uh, I decided that I'll do it. Basically, this video is going to be how to, or where to find uh, multiplayer games uh, for Mac OS 9, how to install it onto the computer, and then how to set it up with a network. Um, should be a about 15 minute long video, um, but yeah, so let's get right into it. Okay, so this is the Macintosh repository. It's basically a website that has tons and tons of software for older versions of Mac OS. Um, so like, for example, Mac OS 9, I believe that there are some early Mac OS 10 applications and Mac OS 8, uh, System 7, and so on. So the game that um, I'm going to show you how to do this on is going to be Duke Nukem. So I'm just going to look up Duke Nukem and hit, hit search and here it is. So what we're going to do is make sure that this is for Mac OS 9. Yeah, okay. So what we're going to do is download the uh, dot uh, the ISO version, sorry. So we're going to grab this and we're going to do this download and save it to not my desktop, though. We're going to save it to uh, downloads. Yeah, one sec. Um, yeah. There we go. Save. So now, I don't know why this is going so slowly, but we're gonna wait for this to download. So now what you would do from here um, is you would, oh, you would double click on this, which would then convert it just to ISO. And then you right click on this, do burn disk image, and then burn. Now, um, I already have what burn, so I'm not going to just burn it again, but that's what you would do. Okay, so I now have um, the disk in the iMac, and you can see it's right there. Now, I should note that if you're going to be using two iMacs set up, that you will need to actually um, get two disks and burn two disks, because you need the disk to have the application run. So, if you're going to try to have two iMac G3s, or just two computers that are However many computers you want to use running the application, you're going to need to burn that many CDs. So, let's get started. Now this table is reflective and doesn't actually move the mess on the screen at all. So, I have to use my leg. Okay. So, here it is. So, we just go installer. Um, I believe that there's nothing that you actually have to customize in this application. Uh, there are some that you do need to. Yeah, no, there's nothing that you need to do. It already comes with everything that you would need. So you just go install. And you can see that it is now installing. So while this is going on, this would be a good time for you to start burning a second disk if that second disk is needed. So that installed very quickly. Um, now you just have to restart the computer. So we'll have it do that. Um, so now what you're going to need are two Ethernet cables and either your router or an Ethernet switch nearby. Um, and then, uh, yeah, I'll show you what you have to do next. Okay, so now what we're going to want to do is prepare these two computers for multiplayer. So I have my other Indigo that was sitting just kind of there next to the space tower that I have. Um, so, and it has Duke Nukem installed, but we'll start up with this one since it's um, on a table and I don't have to break my knees to use it. Oh damn, I clicked the wrong freaking thing. That's the CD. I want to go like... There it is. Okay. So we want Duke Net Startup. So we hit this, then we're gonna do not Apple Talk, we're gonna do TCPIP, and then we're gonna do, uh, yeah, just two players. Do this, so we have 
that number, the IP address uh, for this computer, and then we're going to check this one really quick, and then we're going to add that IP address into this computer and this IP address into that computer. Makes sense uh, when once I've shown you, so I'm going to quickly... I'm going to name this one to uh, test, oh, I almost fell over. Does the E button not work? Friggin' the E button doesn't work. Does the R? Yeah, okay. Well, it's just E, so I guess I won't do that. I'll just do T, S, T. Um, start. No. Okay, so. Now, so it's 169.254, so I'll enter that in. And then it should be actually 1.6, no, okay, 0 0.207.196. 0 0.207. Point, I don't know, 196 was what it was, 196. Yeah, okay, so now I can enter in this one, which I actually might be able to see. 169, oh wait, yeah, I read the first 169.254. Oh, did I hit the, yep. Uh, okay, and then it's 162.4. Oh, point. 162.4 Okay So I'm going to start it off on this one But before I do that actually I'm going to show you what I've done So I have an ethernet cable hooked up into this computer Which runs onto the ground over there Up here Behind my desk I had a T earlier Which hooks up into my switch that's right there so what we do now is I'm gonna press OK and start it up switch so it should uh, yep here we go so you can see what it's saying so it's found the one player which is this computer and it's looking for one more so now what we're gonna do is come down to this one and hit start and switch. There we go. So you can see it says players found two players left zero. So if I come to this one, it's loading. And you can see that they're both starting simultaneously for the most part. If I can So, yeah, that's basically just how you do it. It's not that hard. Um, so, yeah, if you have any other video suggestions, let me know, and I guess I'll catch you in the next video.